Hello dear learners, today in this class we are going to discuss about unit test. The main three features that we are going to discuss in this class will be the purposes of unit test, the basic features of unit test and finally the construction of unit test. We know that in order to make the teaching learning easier, each subject for a particular class is divided into some units or topics. Each unit consists of interlinked of different concepts. Though the concepts within the different units are related with each other, yet for our convenience, every unit is regarded as independent. After the learning teaching of that unit, you need to know the extent of attainment of each student with respect to the learning of the concept of that unit. You may not require the elaborate and long test for this. But what you require is a small test called a unit test, which can serve your immediate purposes. For all practical purposes, the unit test is planned considering the amount of content coverage and all the expected learning outcomes and time available for it, which is approximately 30 minutes. If the study units are found to be too small, then after completion of two or three units, one unit test covering the units may be conducted. Similarly, for relatively bigger units, more than one unit test may be required and to be planned. Now, what are the purposes of unit test? The annual and half yearly tests are normally the term and summative assessments and used for the purposes of promotion to the next higher classes. These tests are conducted taking the content of the whole syllabus and often not possible to cover all the competencies. The unit test on the other hand is useful in assessing more competencies if administered frequently. The unit test is a type of formative assessment. If provides, then feedback leads to students recognizing their learning difficulties. It also helps the teacher to modify his or her teaching methodologies and planning for alternative learning experiences for the students who have learning difficulties. A unit test usually covers limited competencies and is conducted in a lesser time in comparison to other summative tests. Normally, the unit tests are conducted in one period of 30 to 40 minutes duration. So, it does not affect other activities and other classes of the school in the date of conduct of unit test. Now, just discuss about the features of unit test. The different features of unit test are Unit test is based on limited competencies and specific objectives. Unit test also at the time of testing students with it very informal in nature. That is, unit testing is conducted within the normal classroom time without affecting other activities of the school. The maximum marks for a unit test is decided by the teacher. Marks secured on the unit test are less important than the diagnosis of strength and weakness of the students. The teacher also decides the time of answering the questions, the total number of items to be included in the test. It is purely a teacher-made test. Then varieties of test items like oral, written and performance can be used in the unit test. But within a single unit test, Types of items are limited. It does not rank the students on the basis of their performances, rather it acts as a tool for further learning. As it is conducted in an informal environment, it reduces the stress of examination in the students also. Dear learners, now let us discuss about the construction of a unit test. The unit tests are covered limited contents and courses. The table of specification that needs to be followed reflects the content in one axis whereas the types of questions that is oral, written, practical or performance type of, types of items on the other axis related to the instructional objectives like knowledge, understanding, application and skills. Limited number of questions which can be arranged and answered within a particular period has to be framed by the teacher. 
After preparation of the items on each content area, the teacher may arrange them systematically and then administer the test to the students in an informal atmosphere. The scoring pattern can be discussed with the students and finalized after testing is over. Let us take a look at the chart that I have prepared for you today. This is a blueprint for a topic on language for class 5 that I have prepared for you. You can choose any subject or any topic for preparing your own blueprints. This blueprint is prepared for preparing a unit test in a topic on prose in first language which is called as the mother tongue. The number outside the parenthesis, it indicates the number of items whereas the number inside the parenthesis, in, it indicates the weightage of each item. In this unit test, oral, written and performance tests have been used. In one side of the content and language skills are arranged whereas in the horizontal lines the types of questions are arranged. Learners, the unit test covers certain limited contents and courses. The table of specification that needs to be followed, it reflects the content areas in one axis whereas the type of question that is oral, written and practical and performance type of items on the other axis related to the instructional objectives that is knowledge, understanding, application and skills. So dear learners, I think by this time you have been able to know how a unit test is conducted, how it is prepared and how it can be written and formatted in a particular manner. That's all for today. Thank you very much.